Majora's Mask doesn't really have any texture packs that adhere to the original style, so I wanted to make one. The goal isn't to compete with the 3D version, but just to polish up the original for those who prefer it. That said, I reference how the 3D version handled each area, and in rare cases I'll bring ideas over, like this reference to Ocarina of Time's well or the coloring of the clock tower wheel. Otherwise, the goal is to stay faithful to the original. Being faithful doesn't mean that things will always look the same. The N64 hardware was extremely limiting, and sometimes assumptions have to be made about what the developers were trying to do. So when concept art is available, I reference that instead of the original textures. The original font files have been found, and official assets are used when possible. The HUD items and portraits come from art that Nintendo has released over the years. When assets like these aren't available, new textures are drawn to match. In addition to textures, there's a reshade file in the pack for adding new effects. The most important of these is ambient occlusion, which adds a lot of depth but unfortunately requires a few workarounds. Bloom and ambient lighting are used to create the illusion of atmospheric haze and to unify the image. I know a lot of people hate Bloom, but this is as intense as it'll ever get. It's possible to get 30 frames a second using cheats, but certain things will move too quickly and need to be fixed to make the game fully playable. When the textures are done, I'll also look into mapping and modeling edits. I'm creating the pack for Gliden 64 since the GameCube version introduces some bugs. Use the links in the description to download the textures, Project 64, the NT Core Patcher, and the latest Gliden 64 build at the bottom of the development page. If these work-in-progress builds have issues, fall back to the stable 3.0 release instead. To make things easier, install Project 64 to your Documents folder instead of Program Files, then launch the NT Patcher. When prompted, browse to the Project 64 EXE file and open it. This will help avoid memory issues. Then extract the Gliden 64 zip and look in the Zilmar folder for the Project 64 files. In your Project 64 installation folder, navigate to Plugin, GFX, and place the Gliden 64 files there. Also check that there is a folder called High res Textures here. If not, create it. Place the texture folder from my zip file inside of this folder like so. At this point, all the files should be in place. Open Project 64, click Options, then Settings. Click on Plugins and select Gliden 64 from the drop-down menu under Video and hit OK. Now click Options and choose Configure Graphics Plugin. Click the Texture Enhancement tab, then the Texture Pack tab and make sure that these four options are checked. Make sure that the custom texture path listed is the same location you placed the pack. Now run the game and the pack should begin loading. This can take a few minutes, so be patient. If the pack doesn't load, double check that the files are all in the right places. The latest Gliden 64 builds have issues with reshade causing objects to turn transparent, so I can't recommend it until the issues are fixed. Ambient occlusion also requires using Gliden 64 2.0 with frame buffer emulation disabled. MXAO technically works in the new versions, but it'll be misaligned to the point of being unusable. I'll do a separate guide on reshade later once these issues are worked out. Admentus on the Dolphin forums has been nice enough to port the textures over to the GameCube version. This pack is mixed with older textures by Blue Dart and won't have all of my textures in it yet. Download the most recent link in the forum thread, then download and extract the newest Dolphin build. Run Dolphin at least once, then check your Documents folder for a Dolphin emulator folder. Navigate to Dolphin, Load, Textures, and place the PZL folder from the Texture Pack zip here. Rename PZL to match the name displayed in Dolphin's game list. Open Dolphin's graphics menu, click the Advanced tab, and check Load Custom Textures. If the textures won't load, make sure you have the latest development build. The pack is about halfway done and will take at least another year to finish. I'm sharing it specifically to get criticism that could lead to improvements, so feel free to comment on what looks good or bad, and thank you for watching.